Welcome to TV Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. Kanye West and Bianca Sensori are legally married. Pet Shop Boys accuse Drake of singing their song without permission. Steve Coogan asked to change morgue scene in Jimmy Seville drama. MLSE pledges local support for women's basketball with WNBA ruled out. AMC shares jump after Taylor Swift concert film grosses $100 million in advance ticket sales. Kanye West and Bianca Sensori are legally married. The Independent. Kanye West and Bianca Sensori are legally married, according to reports. The couple tied the knot in a confidential ceremony in Palo Alto, California, on December 20, 2022, just a month after West's divorce from Kim Kardashian. The marriage license is registered under Sensori's full name, while West legally changed his name to Yi in October 2021. The couple has been described as private and devoted to each other, and it is unclear when they began dating. West and Kardashian were married for six years and have four children together. Pet Shop Boys accuse Drake of singing their song without permission. The Independent. The Pet Shop Boys have accused rapper Drake of using lyrics from their 1983 hit West End Girls Without Permission in his new track, All the Parties. Drake sings East End Boys and West End Girls in the song, mirroring the lyrics of the Pet Shop Boys song. The duo tweeted that no credit was given or permission requested. Drake's new album, For All the Dogs, features a range of artists across 23 songs. The album has received a two-star review from The Independent, with the reviewer criticizing Drake for his treatment of women. Drake has announced that he will be taking a one-year hiatus from music to focus on his health. Steve Coogan asked to change Morgue scene in Jimmy Seville drama. The Independent. Steve Coogan, who plays Jimmy Seville in a new BBC drama, has revealed that he asked for a necrophilia scene to be changed because he was uncomfortable with it. The scene, set in a mortuary at Leeds Hospital, features Seville placing his hand under a sheet covering the corpse of a woman in her 70s. Although the actor was satisfied with the changes made, the drama's writer, Neil McKay, said it would have been wrong and untrue not to show the scene. AMC shares jump after Taylor Swift concert film grosses $100 million in advance ticket sales. CNN. Shares of AMC Entertainment surged 11.5% in Friday afternoon trading after the movie theater chain announced that Taylor Swift, the era's tour concert film had grossed over $100 million in advance ticket sales. The film is already the most profitable concert film in history and is expected to surpass $2 billion in North American ticket sales. AMC Theaters Distribution, along with other partners, have reached deals to show the film in over 8,500 theaters across 100 countries. Shares of Cinemark Holdings also gained over 5% on Friday due to strong ticket sales for the film. A Thrilling Modernist Dream at MoMA Wall Street Journal Henri Rousseau's The Sleeping Gypsy is a painting that was acquired by the Museum of Modern Art, MoMA, in New York, by Alfred H. Barr Jr. in 1955. The painting, which depicts a woman sleeping in the desert as a lion watches over her, was not initially considered to be a great work of art and was even thought to be a fake. However, it is now considered one of MoMA's most treasured works and has recently been cleaned to reveal its full power. The painting, which is filled with serendipitous encounters, is now on display at MoMA. Love is Blind's Natalie Lee plans to donate wedding dress. The Independent. Love is Blind star Natalie Lee plans to donate her wedding dress from her appearance on the show. She revealed on Instagram that she had bought her own dress because she wasn't happy with the selection provided by the show's producers. Lee starred in season two of the reality TV series, where she had a tumultuous relationship with ex-fiancé Shane Jansen. The couple broke up after the show ended but briefly reconciled before finally ending their relationship for good. Lee accused Jansen of starting the casting process for another reality TV show while they were still together. Why people gravitated towards a film about a losing team. ABC. The 1993 film Cool Runnings, based on the true story of the Jamaican bobsled team at the 1988 Winter Olympics, continues to have a significant impact and remains synonymous with Jamaican culture. John L. Smith, a former Miss Jamaica and cultural ambassador for Jamaica, says that the film captures the resilience, creativity, and ingenuity of the Jamaican people. Cool Runnings has helped to set Jamaica apart and has attracted interest from film producers worldwide, with movies such as James Bond films, Cocktail, and How Stella Got Her Groove Back being filmed in Jamaica. The film's success is attributed to its departure from the typical underdog narrative, instead celebrating the human spirit and conveying the message that sport is not just about winning. 
Joe Coughlin, co-founder of the Popular Culture Research Network, believes that there are not many films like Cool Runnings due to the focus on winning in modern sport. However, other films that focus on the human spirit in sport, such as Eddie the Eagle and the upcoming Next Goal Wins, provide similar messages of overcoming adversity and celebrating participation. Cool Runnings and Eddie the Eagle are available to stream on Disney+. Streamers and studios resurrect retro money-making ideas. Financial Times. Hollywood writers have returned to work after a successful contract negotiation, but the celebration may be short-lived as traditional studios struggle to turn a profit in their streaming services and their TV businesses decline. Cost-cutting measures mean there will likely be fewer shows getting the green light, impacting writers and actors. Streaming services are expected to be more conservative with budgets and develop less content. While the writers secured higher pay in their new deal, the studios are under pressure to hold the line on content spending as they strive for profitability in the streaming sector. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.